The final brim round of AFC Series 10 sees Team BCF in a desperate position to get points on the board. Their humiliation at the hands of Mercury last round will give them extra incentive to perform well today. Hobie is keen to have a better day than their first outing. Their mission is to claw back some ground from Mercury's unassailable lead. Team Hobie, Team BCF, welcome to match number three. You will start in three, two, one, go. With world-class anglers coming from the US and Japan, to compete with Australia's finest, AFC is the pinnacle of fishing around the world. Just north of Australia's famous Fraser Coast lies Port Curtis, our Brim Arena, a massive shallow bay protected by facing island to the northeast. Many small islands inside the bay are surrounded by small coral reefs and home to many species of fish. Our quarry today is both yellowfin and pikey brim. Anglers will have to manage fast running tides, changing water clarity and rocky outcrops to triumph over these testing conditions. We have gorgeous conditions here today at Gladstone. Clear skies, light winds, the weather is sensational and I'm expecting the fishing's going to be likewise. Come on you angry little fish, have a chew. It was a very different day today out on the water. We had a couple of little rocky outcrops that we could see sort of leading out over a flat and we sort of pulled up into there and started to throw some hard bodies over the flats and we got a fish nice and early. That's a brim. Yes, that is. Down it small. That, that. <laughs> that was quick. Nice start. <laughs> Good job, Paula. I'll go in and get another one. Our prediction was spot on and 10 minutes into the session, we've seen our first fish on the board. Team Hobie are fishing a slightly different location than what we've seen in the other matches. They're fishing a flooded flat and they're keying in on some rocky locations. The activity's high. I'm expecting we're going to see some more fish very soon. As we were heading out this morning, I was pretty unsure where we were going to go. I knew what we were going to do, but I wasn't sure about what we were going to, like which exact bank we were going to hit. And as it turns out, I just saw one as we were driving along. I said, look, that looks fine. And um, within about, I'd say, with 10 casts, hooked a brim around 32 fork length. We would have been really happy with that, and unfortunately, we uh, didn't have the net ready. You got it? No, nah, move your foot. And it was sitting at the side of the boat <laughs> with a look barely in its lip, and I um, yeah, took one more run and fell off. You got it? Yeah, we had a bit of a slow start. Um, especially uh, dropping a fish early, like uh, within the first probably 10 minutes of our first spot. Unbelievable. <sighs> Finally get one on and he gets off. Mm. He was just sitting inside the boat. But we had a, a better tide than yesterday. Gilly uh, just spotted them and seen a bit of flow coming uh, around the tips of these points, which is always a good spot, you know, for a feeding brim. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy. And then some of them had bays the other side where you get a little bit of a back eddy and a bit of a back flow uh, in the bay. And they were the areas that we seemed to get our nibbles and bites today. Oh, there's bites. Huh? Got a bite then. Yep. I don't know if I make it. Might go close. It's legal, just Whew. spot on. Okay, we've got 23 fork. We got one! Yeah! VCF just got a fish. 23, 275. 
cool. I grew up in Tarrant Point in southern Sydney on the Georges River and um, was introduced to fishing by my father when I was around four. By the time I was six, I was wearing a life jacket going on my own down on the jetty. Pretty much spent every holiday there was from school on the water in a boat and you know, tried a few other interests, but none of them stuck. You can't learn without putting time on the water. You know, there's lots of people who say, oh, I can't be that hard to get five bread. You'd think it's pretty easy, and most of the time it is easy. But under tournament conditions, everything changes, and yeah, that, that would be my strength, just learning to cope with those sorts of challenges. Uh, going into today, we had a bit of a plan. We were going to go and hit the points, hoping to find those current lines, and hopefully the fish were sitting in them and feeding. Yep, there's a fish. Come out. Oh, it's dirty flat out. Yeah. Ah. I love it. I love it. I don't. Neither. Lord. There was bucket loads of fish on the sander, and everywhere we went, we sort of sanded up fish. But I don't think a lot of them were broom. There were a lot of other species mixed in down there. Fish? It's getting Ooh. on here. That looks oh, more like so. a broom. It does a bit. Trainer's on fire. Oh, that's brown. Oh, bonus. Oh, that's better. That's better. That's a broom, isn't it? Ah, flat it's central. <sighs> brown one. There's that's one. a broom. Ah, another brown one. Round one, not what you want. Oh, it seems like a flathead kind of day. We're now an hour into the session. Team Hobie still only have one fish. We've seen a string of bycatch, but so far, no more broom to add to their tally. With the tide starting to drop, the action is starting to slow. We are with Team BCF at the moment and they're fishing a great looking rocky point on Tide Island. They have one fish in the well so far and they've pulled the hooks on another very good fish. This match is still very evenly poised. The fish is still biting, things are getting very interesting. Come on Brim, for God's sake bite. Mm. Yep. Hit the Brim. Whew. Hopefully he goes legal. Hopefully. There's not much of him. Ah. Legal? Yeah. Good man. Uh, what do we got? BCF, two for five. 23, 275. Uh, two little ones. All right, it's a squeaker. Imagine holding that brim up for a photo. You see the size of it? <laughs> you can just pretend you caught it if you want. I would have expected more hits in some of the areas where we're at, um, especially considering there's been no pressure on the venue. I mean, there's only been three boats fishing it. So what I'm saying in that is I think the bottom of the run-out tide here doesn't seem to be a key period where most systems I fish, that's a good time to fish. Yep. It is a broom. Little pikey. Yeah. Oh, hey. you gotta go 25 tip. Not the type of broom you want to catch to try and go 25 tip because they have the stumpiest tails ever. Look at that, little stumps. Yeah, our main idea today was to target the pikeys. Oh, it is. It's got to be 25 tip, doesn't it? They've got a bit more weight in them, so we were trying to find those fish a bit bigger size with a bit more weight. Oh, a mill over 23. So he's 24 to the fork. Gold. Uh-oh. Right, um, Hobie, they got their second fish, 24 centimetres, 300 grams. 
the anglers of Gladstone will encounter two brim species, the yellowfin and the pikey. Out of the two, it's the pikey that they really want to catch. When you have two of these fish that measure the same, nine times out of ten, it's the pikey that will weigh more. Um, the pikeys don't tend to fish very differently to the yellows. You find them on those rocky points. They don't get up on the flats as much. But it was just a matter of slow rolling those hard bodies at them, sticking it in front of their face. That's a brim, isn't it? I don't think it is. Hell no, one. That's a pike. It is too. Get the net. Oh, giddy up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. What do we got here? It's 21. 24 fork. Excellent. Um, Hobie, three out of five, 25 fork, 350 gram. Going blow for blow at the moment. Mm. We get one, they get one. Hopefully they don't get another one, but. Both teams are fishing very similar locations. Rocky shores and rocky points that fire because of the current that pushes over them. As we head towards the bottom of the tide here, the action will start to peter out. For the teams, it's about grabbing that advantage before the tap is turned off. That's a massive school of things. Yep. Oh, I dropped him. The Fraser Coast region is the gateway to the best and most diverse fishing on the east coast of Australia. The World Heritage listed Fraser Island and its surrounds have been the ultimate family holiday destination in Australia for years. Our host city of Gladstone sits 100 miles to the north of the Fraser Coast, on the southern tip of the Great Barrier Reef. Gladstone is a coastal town with two distinct personalities. At first glance, we see a busy port providing a link between Asia and Australia. Look again and you'll see a huge range of natural wonders, ready and waiting to be explored. The tropical islands of Heron and Lady Musgrove are must-visit places to experience the Great Barrier Reef. On the mainland, casual walkers or serious hikers can choose from hundreds of trails through spectacular mountain ranges. Its pristine beaches woo surfers with secluded breaks along the coast. If all this sounds too energetic, relax on the white sand beaches and just enjoy the sun. Gladstone's got it all. Fishing offshore, you'll find marlin, mackerel and tuna, while on land there's the iconic Bass to Barramundi Trail, which includes Gladstone and nearby Lake Kenya and the mighty Lake Awunga. The way I approach tournaments is basically a fish an hour is what gets you there. Um, in a seven hour tournament like normal, that works fine. Um, when you've only got four hours like we do on the AFC, it doesn't quite work that way, so we knew we had to catch a couple of fish in one of those hours. Yeah, we spent um, a lot of time today jumping spots because the fish were hit and miss. We'd found a fish and then they wouldn't bite anymore, so we just meant we had to plug away and keep working at it. Yep. Good work. Quick. Got him. Good stuff. <laughs> we'll see where he goes. Just over 24 years. We're actually doing pretty well today. They're, um, all the fish we're getting are well, just over the small size, so it's going to lull the other team into a false sense of security about the weight that we've actually got. <laughs> Not going to help us, but <laughs> it's going to make them think we've got more than we have. All right, let's get back and do it again. Uh, Hobie, four out of five, 26 fork, 400 gram. Bugger. Oh, well, we better catch ours now. We fished away from the front of the river and we got uh, quite a, a long period of run out tide. I was getting tail tapped a lot on the plastics oh. and then, um, yeah, I realised just yep. to oh. dead stick it for quite a while and just let that plastic waft down oh. into those caves uh, naturally. And um, it was just a tiny little uh, shake of the rod tip and that was enough just to set them into uh, eating mode. Come on, that was a hit. I'm getting hit there. I just had a bit more confidence today. Sometimes you get that sort of sixth sense in fishing. I'm a big confidence person. I like to psych up and really try to get the inspiration going. And I think the more aware you are when you're out there, it's the little things that'll count. And, you know, if you're not looking around and taking notice of everything that's going on, you're going to miss that bite. It's a very fine line. 
Yep. 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 Oh, oh, don't you dare. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Yeah! We've just entered the second half of the match, and that flat spot we were expecting in the tournament, thankfully for the Anglers, hasn't eventuated. Both Team BCF and Team Hobie have caught one fish each. This match is going to come right down to the wire. No nibbles in there? No. They've been on here too. There's um, there's mussels on these rocks that have gone white. It's a fair sign that a brim has been in the area. The old shoe marks. If there's white bits on it, you know they're there somewhere. Yep, something. Oh, it's pikey. Oh. He's dark. <laughs> oh. That there is number five. I'm just stick him on the measure and see how he goes. He's the biggest one we've got today, I think. He's 26 and a half, so he'll round up to 27. Fifth one by the sounds of it. Uh, Hobie, five out of five. 27 fork, 450 gram. Team Hobie have really hit their stride in the second half of this match. They've picked up their fifth fish to now have a very comfortable lead over Team BCF. I've really enjoyed this experience on AFC this year. It's been great to meet a heap of new people, fish some new areas that I've never fished, and uh, pick up a few new techniques as well. I grew up in the Hunter Valley when we used to travel north up to Brunswick Heads every Christmas, where I'd spend it with Pop and my uncle out on the tinny, chasing broom and flathead and whiting. From there, I started hassling mum to drop me at the break wall up the river, and it just went from there. Fishing controls my life a fair bit, probably more than my girlfriend would like. Um, I love to get out on the water and wish I could be out there doing it every day. Just entered the blackout when all communication ceases. Team Hobie, they are sitting comfortably at the moment. They have their full limit. In contrast, Team BCF, they have a lot of work to do at the back end of this session to get back in this match. Yep. We want this five. Yep. Come in. What have we got? I'm excited now. <laughs> yeah. Finally. Yep, yep. Let's wait. Yep. Yes. <sighs> well done, mate. With time rapidly running out, Team BCF have finally caught their fifth fish. This match is going to come down to the final weights. It's going to be very close. That's why we stayed here. Uh, giddy up. That is a black brim. It was a definite upgrade. We've got a um, fish in there that was about 23 to the fork, I think it was, and this one's a good 27, 28, I think. So, oh no, even better. He's 29 and a half centimetres, so that rounds up to 30 centimetre fish. Be a nice little surprise for Team BCF at the end. They're going to call this a what? All right, we're done. That's it. No, oh, at least we got five, anyhow. Thanks, Gilly. Thank you.
BCF and AFC are giving you and a friend the chance to win the ultimate fishing road trip. The winners will retrace the journey AFC anglers took in Series 10, chasing Brim in Gladstone, Bass in Bundaberg and Barra in Mackay. You'll fish for four hours at each location. How will you measure up against the AFC pros? To enter, visit bcf.com.au or head into a BCF store for further information and Australia's best range of fishing gear. Teams, you both had a vastly improved day out in the water today, giving us our closest brim match to date in this series. Team BCF, you found the form that you lacked in the previous match, weighing in five fish for an estimated weight of 1.85 kilos. Its actual weight was only 10 grams shy of that, weighing in at 1.84. Team Hobie, you really got into some quality fish today. Your five fish limit was anchored by your standout fish. The event Big Brim had an estimated weight of 600 grams. An outstanding pikey brim, it actually weighed 670 grams. Your five fish limit had an estimated weight of 2.15 kilos. However, those thick pikey brim have made it even heavier. Its real weight was 2.29 kilos, which makes you the champions for match three. Good job, brother. Yes. Well done, guys. Good effort, mate. Well done. Team Mercury's lead is still intact after the final brim round of AFC Series 10. At 22 points, they lead Team Hobie, who sits at 15 points, and BCF running third with five points. Be watching next time when AFC's Bass teams carry these points into rounds four, five and six at picturesque Lake Gregory near Bundaberg. What? Big brim in match three was a 670 gram pikey brim caught on an OSP dunk deep diving hardbody lure. It was caught off a rocky point out wide in the current on a TD sole diver, four to eight pound rod, 2500 caldia reel, and six pounds straight through monofilament line.